Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with some more great music tip tips for you. Now today I'm going to be covering my essential tips when preparing to mix a track in Logic Pro X. Now these top tips are definitely intended to help enhance your workflow when you've completed your production project and you've come to the mixing stage. Some of the things you probably already do, but there's probably other things contained in the series that will be new to you. However, I'm certain that by the end of this, I'm sure you would have taken something away. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I recommend everyone does is make sure that your Logic Pro advanced tools have been enabled. So to do this, you go to Logic Pro X, you go to preferences and advanced tools. Okay. And hit that and they're all enabled. I've got a video on this that goes into more depth, which you can find in this playlist. So make sure you check it out. Okay. So that's the first step and we are now good to go. This particular production right here that we're looking at is just MIDI based. It's just a MIDI based production. There are no audio recordings in this one, but we'll be switching to one that has some audio recorded later on. Okay. So the second step is to make sure that your project tempo is set up correctly. Now this is really important for a lot of guys who download or buy beats online and um, the beats are already uh, produced and mixed and mastered. And what they do, they record their vocals to it, especially in the rap genre and that sort of thing. Anyway, here's an example of a, an instrumental that's been downloaded. In fact, it was actually produced by myself. Um, but it's something that uh, I would sell online. Now, this has been imported into Logic, but Logic hasn't been matched to the tempo of the instrumental. So what we need to do before we even st uh, start recording uh, these vocals, we should really have set up the tempo of Logic to match the instrumental. Nevertheless, there's always a way around it. So what we're going to do, we're going to analyze the instrumental to find out what the tempo is, set it up in Logic, and then we will I'll show you how you can uh, manipulate the audio that's already been recorded so that it doesn't go out of time. All right. So first thing is to go to the audio track that holds the instrumental. You go to a metering. It's the BPM counter. You pop that in. And now I'm just going to play back and Logic will now analyze and give us what uh, the tempo of this instrumental. Okay, so it reckons it's uh, 90 BPM. I'm going to forward a little bit and um, when after the beats dropped. So let's see what it does then. Cool. So it looks like 90 BPM. I'm going to change this to 90 and see what happens to the audio recordings. They're going to be all going out of sync. So here we are. So everything's um, all messed up now and all of the uh, vocal files or vocal recordings are out of place. Now to avoid that, um, I'm just going to set this back to 120 because that's what we recorded at. To avoid that, what you've got to do is you've got to export all of the individual tracks. Okay. And then re-import them into the project. And that way each of the audio files will start at bar one, which is here. And by having them starting at bar one, they will not move position. So I'll just do it on this one here. So now I'm going to come here and I'm going to export this track. So I'm going to go to file export one track as an audio file. I'm keeping all of my settings. I'm just going to hit export just down here. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new audio track. Just duplicate that one. And now I'm going to re-import that file that was just exported. And I'm going to line it up right here. Now, as you can see, this audio file matches exactly the transients of this one. Now look what happens when I change the tempo to 90. Okay. This one has stayed in place, whereas this one has moved, has shifted. So this is locked with the instrumental. 
So that's what you do. All you do is before you change the tempo to uh, the newly analyzed tempo, you export each one of the files individually. You can do as a bulk export, but you know you have a bit more control if you do them individually. Re-import them, line them up, and then once you've changed your tempo to the new tempo, everything will be locked and nothing will have shifted.